Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about how to approach sculpting, not from the perspective of buttons or tools, but from the process, where to start and how to move forward clearly through each stage without getting frustrated along the way. So let's get started. One of the most common problems when sculpting is that we don't have a clear process. We are not sure where to begin or what we should be focusing on at each step. We lack an understanding of what the stages are and what a clear step-by-step -step process looks like. We don't know if we are doing it right, if it's time to move on, or if we would still be fixing something earlier. And as we sculpt, we often feel like the model looks wrong, but we don't really know why. It looks disproportionate, deformed, weird, and that's frustrating. To help illustrate everything I'm explaining here, I created a character based on this Hellboy concept you are seeing now, and I recorded a full timeless video from scratch to the final render, so if you are interested in seeing how this whole process unfolds in real time, from the base shapes to the final sculpt, you can go check it out on the channel. Now let's break down the process so you can follow it step by step. The solution is to break the process into clear stages and at each stage know exactly what to evaluate and what not to worry about yet. There's no point obsessing over a wrinkle if the head shape is wrong. There's no point perfecting a nose if the skull is out of proportion. So let's go over those stages and how to approach them. Stage 1. Basic shapes and proportions. At this stage, we completely forget about details. We need to think of the model like a mannequin made of spheres, cylinders and cubes. I used this concept as a reference and what I did was draw over it using only the most basic structure so you can see what we need to achieve in this first stage of sculpting. At this point, all we evaluate is the basic shapes or is it too wide, too long, too narrow, is the nose too small? Should the jaw be larger? It's all about basic shape, size and proportion, nothing more. Stage 2, secondary forms. Now we start working on a second level of structure. We go beyond the spheres and cylinders and begin defining more specific shapes. I did a second drawing on top of the concept, this time laying out the secondary forms so you can keep them in mind while sculpting, without getting lost in fine details too soon. Here we ask, or we need to think about, where exactly do the lips go and what shape are they? Is the sheen just a ball or does it have a structure? Does the nose change near the nostrils? What's the shape above and below the eyes? Where does the cheekbone sit and how does it connect to the cheek? Still no small details but the personality of the character starts to emerge. Stage 3. Detail and surface changes. Once the base and secondary forms are solid, we move to detail. Here's where we add. Subtle shape changes in the forehead, surface flow in the brows, nose planes, volume changes inside the lips, transitions between mouth and cheek, or nose and cheek. Even at this stage, we're still adjusting larger forms if needed. And number four, I would like to mention the mental side of the process. This is something people don't talk about enough, but it's so important. While sculpting, you will often dislike your model. You'll feel like something's off, but you won't know what. That's normal. Just remember, models almost always look bad in the beginning. That's part of the process. If you give it time, come back the next day, compare with references and keep refining, it will improve. And if you feel stuck, just stop, step away, do something else or rest. When you return with fresh eyes, you will usually see what was wrong and be able to fix it. And as a final example and reminder, always start with simple forms. Don't get distracted or confused by the small details too soon. Look at the concept like it's made of primitive shapes spheres, cylinders, cubes, then move on to medium forms and only at the end do you sculpt the small ones. The very last things to worry about are veins, wrinkles, pores and those tiny surface details they won't help if your base is up. You can get this help with sculpt on Gumbro to support the channel or just to study the process stage by stage. Thanks for the support. See you next time.